Now let's go back to the habit loop we discussed in the last lesson and see how we can use it to aid us in the creation of new habits. The lesson here is that you can successfully hijack an existing habit loop by replacing the current response or behavior with a better one. The trigger and the reward can remain relatively the same keeping the process familiar enough not to alarm the subconscious mind. Let's say, for instance, that you are looking to release excess weight. Instead of getting the chocolate bar out of the vending machine on your 10.30 a.m. break, your current response, when 10.30 rolls around, your trigger, you grab the container of cashews and kiwi you brought from home the replacement response, and head over to socialize with your co-workers. As you walk over to your routine meeting place, you give yourself a mental high-five for a job well done. It feels amazing to own your power and be successful. The reward remains the same. You get energy from the snack, and you get to socialize. As an added bonus, instead of feeling guilty or bad about the poison you put into your body, taking you further from your goal, you get to feel proud and in control. But the reward of this new response doesn't end there. The kiwi fulfills your desire for something sweet while remaining nutritious and beneficial to your brain and body. The cashews actually help to reduce stress levels, decreasing your cortisol, further aiding in weight releasing. Cashews are known to be an effective antidepressant, and cortisol is known to cause weight gain. The healthy fat in the cashews reduces the spike in your blood sugar from eating the kiwi, which helps protect you from insulin resistance, diabetes, and further weight gain.